What's up guys, today I'm going to be reviewing an application on the App Store called Launch Center Pro. It is $2.99 on the App Store and it's actually a really nice application. To me it's just like a jailbreak tweak only it's in the App Store and it's unusual I see something like this because it's like shortcuts to applications. Say you want to go on Twitter but when you go on Twitter you wanted to actually uh, create a tweet right away. You're going to be able to set it up so it brings you right to the tweet menu rather than the regular Twitter interface. Um, so basically that's what it's going to be able to do. So it is $2.99 so let's get right into it. When you open Launch Center Pro you'll be greeted with this. It's called the Launch Center and you'll have many preset toggles and everything. You'll be able to customize it by clicking this little pencil and clicking plus. Uh, and you can group actions or uh, actually click action. So if I click action, Composer is going to bring me to the most common ones. And below, it will bring me to some installed compatible applications. So let's say I wanted to do Instagram. And when I open Instagram, say I wanted to open the camera or launch Instagram right away. So let's go here and click camera. And once I do this, I can click this. And it'll open Instagram and right away it'll actually bring up the camera on here. Give it a second to load. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. So here we go. It brings up the camera right away. So it's actually going to save some time in the long run if you use this application and open it a lot. And if I click toggle, this is actually set to turn the brightness up and down. So I thought that was pretty cool. And if you want to use the flashlight, then you can click this and it will actually turn a really bright screen on. When I go ahead and actually click this new message button, it's actually going to bring up the messages application and it's going to bring up a new message interface. It's not just going to bring up this regular menu, it's going to bring up the new message center. Let me go ahead and go into the app center here and you have all your apps in here. This is kind of just like a little folder for your launch center. And if you actually want to edit it, once again, you click the pencil, you go in here, and you're going to be able to click the plus button, and you're going to be able to choose which action you want, application, or basically anything. You have all the compatible apps down here. So let's say I wanted to actually open a website. So I can click custom URL. I'm going to be able to type the name I want and then the URL. So after that, you can click done, and you can go back and you'll actually see the website in here. And I actually put Detect Apple in earlier since that's my website. So if I go ahead and go into the apps and click Detect Apple, it's going to open up Safari and it's going to open up the website right away. So as you can see, it's opening it up right there. The website's loading and it should be here just like that. And another really cool thing I found about Launch Center Pro is I can actually click the pencil and I can click, say, the camera and I can go in here and customize the icon. So if I don't like this regular icon, I can make it uh, blue and I can choose an icon from here. I can choose a plane. I can choose just about any of these preset icons and it'll let me know what the icon will bring me to. And the next thing in here is schedule. I can actually go into the schedule and if I want my iPod or iPhone to alert me of when I want to open an application, like say I needed to go on Twitter and tweet something at 1 o'clock, I can go in here and choose 1 a.m. and then it will remind me. And there you go guys, that's about it for Launch Center Pro. It basically is a shortcut to get to your app within your applications. So if you don't want to spend all the time going into the message application and then going in and creating a new message, then you can just use this. Or if you wanted to use Facebook and you didn't want, want to waste all the time going to a particular page, you're going to be able to set it up within here. Comments below. Tell me what you think about this application. Is it worth downloading? Is it worth the $2.99? Let me know. Anyways, you guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.